to get you ready for the weekend. It is the NBA free agency. All right. First order of business. Beginning this Sunday, June 30th at 6 p.m., verbal agreements can be made between players and teams. All right. But the official signings cannot become official until July 6th at noon, P at noon. Okay. So <clears throat> Sunday starts the uh legal process of making verbal agreements, but official contracts do not get recognized as official until July 6th at noon. Okay. Some things I want y'all to look at. Okay. Uh, right now from a Bleacher Report, Raptors to give Emmanuel quickly five years, $175 million extension to stay with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, the Detroit Pistons have traded for Tim Hardaway Jr. Detroit is sending Quentin Grimes to Dallas in exchange for Tim Hardaway Jr. in three second round picks. As I'm looking at Breach Report, as this was popping up on my phone. All right. So there's a couple of great things y'all want y'all want to look at now. Here's what you want to look at here. All right. Coming up in free agency, we have players, we have notable players here. All right. If you see player options, all right, this means these players' options they have to tomorrow to either opt in or opt out. Of their current contracts with their current team. So you have Paul Jones with the LA Clippers, LeBron James with the Los Angeles Lakers, Contarius Carwell Plo with the Denver Nuggets, and D'Angelo Workers, and D'Angelo Russell with the Los Angeles Lakers. And Bleach Report sent out a, a notification two hours ago that uh the Dallas Mavericks won't Contarius Carwell Pro that could be happening in a sign and trade thing. So keep an eye out for that when it comes to Contarius Carwell Pro. Could he be shifting from Denver to Dallas, depending on what he does? Paul Joyce, is, as we said earlier, we talked about that. I believe Paul Joyce wants a four-year deal. The Clippers want to give him a three-year deal. I think that three-year deal is, is in line with Kawhi Leonard's three, three-year deal. So I guess they want to do that. But if Paul Joyce opts out, the Clippers will respect his decision on that. We'll see with D'Angelo Russell, especially with the fact that what's going on with the Lakers. J.J. Redd is now the head coach. The draft of Don Connect and Brian James. How does he fit? What's the scheme gonna look like? Stuff like that. And LeBron James, we'll see what LeBron James does, but there is nothing out the realm of possibility that makes people believe that he's gonna leave the Lakers after the fact they drafted his son. So we're gonna see he's gonna stay with the Lakers, but we're gonna see because the Lakers are ready to offer him a three-year deal if he wants that. But we'll see what LeBron James does. It's still his decision, but we don't see LeBron James leaving the Lakers no time soon. Just throw that out there. Restricted free agent. Noticeable one is Tyrese Maxey. This is so when you're a restricted free agent, that means you can talk with teams, you can do the normal so as free agency does. But the current team that you have, which would be the Philadelphia Savers, has a has the opportunity to match that offer. And if they choose to match that offer, that's the match, that's what you would get to stay with that team. And if they choose not to match that offer, then you are a free agent. Okay, so Tyrese Max is in that predicament, but I do believe Tyrese Max wants to stay with the Philadelphia 76ers. So, whatever the market says he's worth, I'm pretty sure Philadelphia will probably match it to keep him with Joel and B going forward. And then, unrestricted free agents, these are the guys who has freely to do whatever they want to do, there's no restrictions on them whatsoever. So, Isaiah Hartenstein is a free agent from the New York Knicks, DeMar DeRozan is a free agent from the Chicago Bulls. James Harden is a free agent from the Los Angeles Clippers. Clay Thompson is a free agent from the Golden State Warriors. And Tobias Harris is a free agent of the Philadelphia 76ers. So, like I said, Sunday, they can do verbal talks with teams and get a verbal agreement. But nothing is official until July 6th, okay? So keep that in mind. July 6th is when it's official. But verbal talkage can begin this Sunday.